Will back pocket plugger be a different version or the same? E.G. Goody 36 says, will this be on Spotify? <laughs> Are any of these songs as good as your other footy parodies? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I am joined by the man who helped put together the album, Jakey Ross. How are you, mate? I'm doing good, Doss. How are you, man? Yeah, travel well, travel well. Yesterday I put on my Instagram for people to ask questions about the album, if they had any queries, if they you know, wanted to know anything about the process about making the album. So Jake and I are gonna sift through the questions that I received on my Instagram. We're gonna take it in turns of asking each other the questions. So I'll kick it off by asking Jake and then he'll ask me and vice versa. All right, I'm going to fire one at you, Jake. Uh, Mitchie Ryan has sent in, what song did you spend the most time making? It would probably be Cold Figures just because there was so much layering that you that you liked, um, which I didn't really like. It sounded a bit too muddy. <laughs> so every, everything you wanted and you liked, I didn't really like, but we sort of met it in the middle ground in the end. But um, Another one was the uh, Young Gun. That took a bit of time because... Oh, yeah. Um, Young Gun. I don't think anyone knows that we've got a rap song on here. Young Gun Young is Gun. as rappy as it gets. And that <laughs> took that long to get done. Yeah. I think you made the beat in like half an hour. But yeah, it took a little bit of time yeah, to the, write. The lyrics weren't coming. You had no inspiration. You needed a bit of no. heartbreak in that one. All right. Jackson Hamilton 31 has asked, will there be a CD? Yeah, that's a good question. No, no, <laughs> that's something I probably... Probably with uh, seven, seven or eight days to go, we <laughs> probably get around to. Um, I, I want there to be a hard copy. Yeah, that'd be um, sick. Yeah, that would be sick. So, I don't know, I'll, I'll do a bit of Googling today. What about actually, a vinyl? And uh, see if we can get that sorted. <laughs> but hopefully by release, I can have some info on that. Rachel Joy Manning goes, tour, question mark. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> we always, yeah, yeah we, we, keep, we keep joking about potentially doing a live show for a laugh. Um, geez, imagine if we went on tour. <laughs> I know, it's uh, that would be, be something else. It makes it hard to organize something with COVID going on, but um, you know. Gives us the time though. That's right, we, we can plan, we can plan. There's no excuses really. It depends if, exactly. it depends if uh, you guys want it. Do they want it? Comment down below. Now it's a bit of a stretch, but would you want to see some of the Paros, some of the album, uh, some of your favourite people that are usually on my channel um, for one night only <laughs> or even for 17 nights only on the road but um, yeah comment down below because it's something that yeah I'd be interested in just having a crack at it would just be fun yeah and seeing you without auto-tune how you really are <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'd be uh, yeah caught up shit creek without a battle <laughs> Tom Wallwork asks how did you come up with the names of all your songs? Well, that one's an easy one. I, it's basically the thing I just repeat three times at every song. <laughs> I, just, I just name the songs Wanna after that. But, uh, Skulls 56, yep. what's your favourite song? My favourite song is Hold Out Hope Without a Doubt. I just love <laughs> the lyrics. Um, I said in the, uh, in the interview with Doss um, that you know, I could relate to it so much, being a Richmond supporter for so long um, and going literally on the train with my dad. Um, you know, it, it struggled, I struggled with that um, for so many years and yeah, I could relate to it so much. You know, you you really hit hit home with that one, Doss, with those lyrics, but um, the, uh, I really love the the, um, the instrumental as well. Like, it's just a build up and yeah, it really hits home. <laughs> uh, NMFC underscore Kangas uh, says, which song do you reckon is the most relatable to the 1975? Uh, yeah, good question. I reckon um, My Footy Dreams Never Come True has a very similar piano to The Sound by the 1975. So I, I, I feel like, um, yeah, both those pianos are a little bit similar, but I, I think just that, that, that vibe of pop rock is probably littered throughout. Jake, which, is your, uh, which music video is your favorite one? Now, I'm assuming they're asking out of the newer ones, but yeah, what, what's your favorite video. one? It's one of two. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, Cole, Cole Figures really impressed me when Doss came, because I've seen all or well, most of his YouTube videos and I've seen his standard. He took it up another notch and I was just so impressed with <laughs> his ability, um, you know, to take his video and his uh, music videos to another level because I've seen, you know, 2019 was a bit shitty with his, um, with that video <laughs> the camera was all over the place and everything, but... Um, yeah, Cold Figures really impressed me, but the story and the, I guess, entirety, entirety 
of pine chips. Um, yeah, I, I think that one's your best. Callum Devine uh, asks, what are your goals for the album in terms of success, money, and just enjoying it? <laughs> oh, money. Money. Plenty of money. Um, <laughs> look, it's we have essentially done it for free. Like, there's obviously been things yeah. we paid for throughout, uh, you know, certain bits of software or whatever, but it's basically been made for free and essentially put out for free. Like, even if I make CDs, I'm, yeah. I'm happy to not turn a profit on them. I just, you know, if someone wants a physical copy, I'll, I'll print off CDs at my own house yeah, just yeah, to yeah. give someone a physical yeah. copy. So, it, it's not about the money. It's just, I like doing extensions off YouTube. So, I like, I don't know, having a YouTube channel and that be the main focus, but also stream. Having a YouTube channel, yeah, but course. also do potties and also do music. So um, to take the music up a level and the next step was to create genuine songs, original like instrumentals Bangers, and yeah. yeah, put a body of work together. So I don't know, I'm just happy that I can do it. I can put it on, you know, YouTube and Spotify for free and you know, no matter you know what happens, happens, but it would be good to see it get some streams and sort of gather a little bit of momentum. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I'm hoping that, you know, every- It encourages us to make another one. Oh, 100%. Yeah, which would be mad. Like, oh, I'm just hoping the people out there who get my stuff and like my stuff, it gets to that. And I'm pretty, yeah. pretty sure it yeah. will. Out of all the songs, what song are you most hyped about? Fergus asked. I think Pie and Chips, just because it's got a, I feel like it's got a bit of nostalgia because, like we we when you came to me, that was the first song that that yeah. you came to me with. Um, so that is one of my favourites, and I'm I'm pretty hyped to see, um, yeah, what that the reaction is of, of that one because it it was our first one and um, that was our sort of starting point. Yeah. Um, so I'm probably most hyped hyped about that, but also hold out hope. Um, as well because it, yeah that's my favorite i want to know if if it's your guys favorite as well but also young gun because because that that is something different like a bit of a rap one i think that is pretty exciting to see you know um thoughts on kados's rap skills like does he have eminem influence or is he an absolute flop kind of thing bit of a macklemore type uh, yeah that's type, right type, yeah. <laughs> type operator <laughs> Alec goes, which song was the funniest to make? Probably Grand Final Day. There's, <laughs> there's some lines in that that I seriously just cack my dack with. Um, you, you'll hear it soon about um, something to do with chicken. Um, it's When I heard it, Doss was, when, when he says it, Doss is just like, I can't put that in. And I was like, no, that is staying. Like, that is genuine comedy right there. Like, yeah, um, very dumb. And Yeah, but going through that, like, it was... It was fun, but also I don't want to play ones like, don't hate on me guys, but I am an umpire or was an umpire for the VFL. Um, so I don't play ones um, like I can sort of understand a lot of the things um, that DOS says in that because of, um, yeah, being around like, you know, your, your seniors and your reserves footy, um, you sort of understand that that song is basically like 100% true. So I think it, it is pretty funny and uh, Doss has really hit the nail on the head um, with that one. EG Goody 36 says, will this be on Spotify? Absolutely. Um, that's one of the reasons we made it all originals. It's like one of the questions I get for the parodies is, will this be on Spotify? And it's like, well, I, the last thing I have to tick before I send it off to Spotify is do I own the instrumental and unfortunately I don't own Post Malone's inter instrumentals. I'm, I'm going to try and get a license to potentially get them all up there but yeah from that point it's like oh well to get songs onto Spotify we've got to make the songs and I'm yeah. as interested in doing that as I am just writing the lyrics over normal instrumentals so yeah it'll be on Spotify, it'll be on all your streaming platforms and hopefully in physical copy if I start sending some emails in the next day or two. Tomo says Will Back Pocket Plugger be a different version or the same? Oh, it is going to be the same on the album, but we have thought about doing an acoustic version of it, haven't we, Doss? We've, we've thought about remixes. We've thought about... Remixes, we, yeah. It, it was... Bootlegs yeah, and it, country versions. And it was always... Jazz. Yeah, it was always going to be an acoustic version on the album, yeah. just to mix it up. But, um, yeah, I'm glad it's the same. SBFC underscore 41 asks, what does 1964 mean? Great question. Um, the 1964 on the cake is a reference to the D's last premiership. I think it's been almost 60 years. Well, th yeah, it's been almost 60 years without winning a flag. Um, in the song, My Footy Dreams Never Come True, 
I say that we haven't won a granny since 1965. But the only reason I changed it from four to five was just because I thought no one's going to know the difference in a year and the five rhymed yeah. with what I was singing about. But yeah, 1964, 60 years um, without a flag. It's um, it's rough times and it's something that haunts me. <laughs> haunts me. Oh, Hubo. Hoi. Hoi Bo, one, two, three, says, <laughs> are any of these songs as good as your other footy parodies, e.g. the 2018 AFL parody? I would say without a doubt, all of these songs are better than DOS's parodies. You know, I don't want to be biased here because I, I assisted with this one, but um, I think all these are genuine good, um, good songs and originals, which is, you know, makes, I'm sure, DOS a bit more prouder. Yeah, um, for sure. So I, th I, th I personally think all these songs are better than any of his parodies um, he's put up. Um, but again, that's just my opinion. Um, what do you think, Dos? Well, yeah, I think they're sort of different. Like, um, the parodies are like almost a joke every second line, when these are just songs about footy that have a little bit of humour about them. So I think if you're coming to, to like, get some ha-ha joke slapped into your face, it, yeah. It's just not that. These are just like footy songs that um, have a little bit of humour about them. But I, yeah. yeah, I'm so much more proud of these ones, and we've worked really hard on them. And I, I think they, as a song, um, are better. But yeah, that's my opinion as well. I guess you know, once we get shredded off the first couple of songs, uh, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll get brought back down to earth. But we're enjoying it at the moment. <laughs> Uh, I think last question, Thomas McLaughlin 18 asks, what was your motivation to get the, the album done during the COVID-19 restrictions? Great question. I think, well, me personally, I had nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and to be honest, you weren't meant to be in the country after like no, the second wrong. song was made. So that's it was wrong. only going to be either a couple of singles or an EP. Um, but luckily for myself, um, your trip got cancelled, unfortunately. That's right. Um, so, yeah, like honestly, without COVID happening, this wouldn't be a thing. So it's um, it's pretty crazy, but yeah, I just had nothing to do and just kept bugging Jake to let me make songs with him. <laughs> Imagine if I did go away. Do you reckon any of it? Yeah, like you would have had a three-song EP, maybe. Yeah, it would have been and then... pie and chips, and I don't want to play ones. Yeah, so I think that's all the questions. Hopefully, we answered some of your queries. The album will be out August 6th. Yes, August 6th. Pie and Chips will be out Thursday. Uh, on, on Thursday, 4pm. We'll do a little premiere. If Jake's free, hopefully he'll be in the chat. I'll be in the chat. I'm always free, mate. Very excited to see what people think about Pie and Chips. Yeah, um, without a doubt. Yeah, should, should go well. But yeah, I just want to say I appreciate all the support. Jake, thanks for joining me, by the way. No worries, Doss. Thanks, guys. And yeah, I appreciate all the support. And uh, yeah, really excited for the next couple of weeks. It'll be uh, a lot of fun. And I can't wait for you guys to finally hear the music. We'll see you soon. Cheers.